today. Now, Governor Schwarzenegger has emphasized that he will not approve any new taxes in addition to uh, not agreeing to anything that's less than $24 billion. So what's going to happen tonight at the stroke of midnight? Governor spokesman Aaron McClear joining us uh, live here on the KFPK Afternoon News. Aaron, how are you? Hey, Bob. How you doing? Doing fine, thanks. Uh, now, does it look like there is any chance there will be any kind of agreement by midnight? Well, you, Bob, you've been covering this stuff long enough. You know nothing happens until right before midnight, so I think there's we still have you know over five hours to go. We're holding out hope. And what is the holdup specifically again, Aaron? Well, it's it's really the same thing it's been. You know, from day one when the governor proposed his uh, his idea, his his May revision in May 14th, uh, he said we need to solve the entire problem uh, and we can't raise taxes. And I think the Democrats have eased off the taxes, but uh, they still are unable to get to the 24 billion solution. Right now, we're talking about three bills that take care of about five billion dollars. That's that's nowhere near the size of the problem. Uh, but we've heard there's some uh, proposal in the works that would come up with 21 billion. Would we come down to 21 billion, or is 24 still the mark? Well, they they tried to do 21 last week, and that didn't work either. I mean, the problem is, we, we we do the same thing in Sacramento every year. We we just do the easy part. We just do a little bit now, and we'll push off the rest until tomorrow. And that's why we're in the situation we're in right now. And so the governor is very adamant about solving the entire 24 billion dollar deficit. And the talk about IOUs is where. Uh, well, that's a question for the controller, but he says on Thursday, you know, if we don't have a budget in place, uh, then he's going to have to start issuing IOUs. Now, we, we talked to an economist uh, a couple hours ago regarding what he thought the problems with the state were, and he said basically we overextended when we thought we had the money, and now we don't have the money, but we're still overextended. So if that, assuming that's true, how do we how do we reverse time, or how do we go back in time and, uh, and, and, and take care of what or undo what's been done. Well, the governor has two uh, two options. He either wants to make deep cuts into the current budget uh, that 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 downsize these programs that are growing out of control, or he wants to cut less, which is what the Democrats want to do. So we're compromising there, but still make the reforms to those programs so they're not growing out of control. That economist is exactly right. We have these these programs set up to just grow out of control. If we don't solve that, we're going to wake up tomorrow morning and still have a problem. Governor Spokesman Aaron McClear here on the Afternoon News. Aaron, thanks for joining us. Thanks, guys. Okay. U.S. Environmental Protection Agency has given California the go-ahead to impose strict rules on motor vehicle greenhouse gas emissions. KPK's Tim Lance. Today's EPA waiver. 15 now at KFBK and 98 degrees. I'm Kitty O'Neill. And in for Ari Grasswich, I'm Bob Moffat. There are no American soldiers to be seen on the streets of Baghdad. Troops pulled out of the city yesterday and gave full authority to Iraqi police. And South Carolina Governor Mark Sanford, boy, this guy just, well, once he opened his mouth now, he just won't shut up. He says his Argentine mistress is his soulmate, says he met her more times than he previously stated, that he fooled around on his wife a number of other times but did not go all the way, and that he's attempting to fall in love with his wife again. Oh. I can only imagine how she feels about that. He also said he cried like a baby at my sister's keeper, so, you know. Oh. Mm. Okay. Complex Feeling guy. Feeling his feminine side right now. <sighs> so, so, shall we see how the traffic's uh, moving or not? And Safe Credit Union brings us uh, Dana Hess in the Jackson Rancheria Casino and Hotel Traffic Center. That was worth the wait. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> here's some good news for a change. And again, even though it's 98 degrees, it does definitely feel cooler than yesterday. Felt it this morning for sure. Let's take a look at the forecast. And bringing us the forecast is KCRA 3 Weather Plus Chief Meteorologist Mark Finan. Has been a warm day, but we've certainly taken the edge off the heat. It's 619 now at KFBK, and in about 20 minutes or so, we're going to go to the phones, Bob, and actually take some calls on this proposal to have all elections be mail-in elections. Apparently, it could save about a million for each election. This is the recommendation of the Sacramento Grand Jury. And we might note that apparently we already tend in that direction in our May 19th special election. About 63 percent of the votes were cast by mail. And in last June's primary, it was 60 percent mail. But, you know, the worry is, what do you do? You know where your ballot's going? I mean, at least when you're there, you see it go into a box. You still won't really know where it's going. But are people really going to go for this and and give up? I guess what is we've always considered sort of a right is to have the ability to go to the polls if we wanted to. But yeah, and I know some people are concerned about fraud issues, and I myself, I, I, I it depends on your, you know, how you like to 
go through the process of voting. I like going to the polling place, and I like waiting until the last minute because you never know what kind of revelations might come out about what you're voting on. So I prefer to wait until the very last minute because I want all the information I could possibly get. However, I know people that don't mind voting you know, way in advance and don't have a concern about it. Well, and it's a, it's a fantastic point in that also you never know what revelations may come out about whom you're voting for. Well, that's what I mean. So, so yeah. you know, not only the, you know, the, the individual, uh, you know, propositions and uh, those those uh, things which a lot of us don't really get to until the last day, uh, and then also the people that we're voting for. And, I mean, right now, I mean, not to, you know, besmirch the good reputation of the post office, but, you know, there are mail carriers who have stolen items before, and who's to say that, you know, the those that would – you know, try to rig an election wouldn't uh, just start looking. You know, start taking people's ballots right out of their right out of their mailboxes. Well, a lot, yeah, and it might not be the post office; it might be somebody else. But I know a lot of people don't trust it. I, I've heard that too. So, but yet, a, a majority of our Sacramentans do vote that way. So, you know, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how this is going to play out, and I'd be interested to see how everybody feels about it. Then. Uh, listens to this program right now. Our poll is leaning toward people saying, "Yeah, they're they're certainly going to go for it." And I guess saving the money is uh, kind of the icing on the cake. I suspect. I, I don't know. It looks like Bob, but we were talking about how the money would be saved. Well, if there's six to seven hundred polling places, and they've got you know five precinct officers or up to five at each facility, I suppose that's how they figured it out. Well, yeah, and the equipment, you know, that it takes to get the the transportation and so forth. But that's what they said, about a million yeah, bucks. About a million. So that's, yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know if it's worth it or not. I mean, there's definitely, uh, I, I know I'm representing the conspiracy f- theory and apparently kook minority as a, according to our website poll. But uh, And I'm not really representing it. I'm just presenting the... Sure. Uh, well, no, you have to look yeah. at every factor in a decision like this, yeah. to be sure. Never had a problem with mailing bef- ballots before, but it just sort of seems like if that's the only opportunity mm-hmm. you have, the only way, then somebody would come up with an idea to uh, to make that maybe not be such the greatest idea. Yeah. Well, think about everybody and give us a call. We're going to take your calls. Oh, as I said, now it's about 15 minutes. So we'll get to them. And you can always uh, vote online right now at kfpk.com keyword afternoon news. Hey, let's take a check of your sports. It is now 624 at KFBK. And Pat Walsh is at the Thunder Valley Sports Desk. Pat, what is going on? Well, we have uh, Duke coach, basketball coach Mike Krzyzewski telling reporters at his annual summer meeting. Yes, he has a summer meeting, much like Bob Moffitt, uh, that he is not going to Mine's in late fall Los- usually, but please oh, is it c- fall? continue. Yeah. Okay. I usually have that marked on my calendar, but uh, he says he will not go to the Lakers if uh, the... Thank you, Pat. And a check of traffic now at 626. And NorCal Toyota brings us Dana Hess in the Jackson Rancheria Casino and Hotel Traffic Center. Thank you very much. And again, our 1530 KFBK and the always new KFBK.com. 630 at KFBK. I'm surprised we're still going up. We had 99 degree reading there for a minute. Uh, Glad you're with us. I'm Kitty O'Neill. And I'm Bob Moffitt in for Ari Grasswich. And Elk Grove teacher is being investigated after a DVD went home with 24 students students that showed not only the school year in review, but also the images of the teacher engaging in sexual activity. Elk Grove school district officials are not commenting on the case. They did send out a written notice to parents. The incident came to light when two parents from Isabel Jackson Elementary School say they saw about six seconds of sexual activity on the DVD, which was a video compilation of the year in review for the class. That DVD went out to two dozen students. Neither the teacher nor the age of the students has been named. Find out who edited that. A grass fire burning near Rumsey in northern Yolo County, now 40% contained after destroying one home. That fire broke out yesterday afternoon, and it grew to 600 acres. They do expect to have full containment, though, tomorrow. A special closed meeting of the Sacramento City Council has been called for tomorrow night to consider the city firefighters union's latest contract offer. The city council rejected the firefighters contract deal last week, but the firefighters union came up with a new proposal today. The fire union is offering to freeze firefighter salaries for 30 months. Sacramento County could be leading the way to a change in the way elections are conducted in the state. Uh, Listen to Tim Lance's report and then feel free to give us a call here in about 10 minutes on this subject. The Sac County Elections Department wants to go to mail-in elections exclusively, and that's supported now by recommendations from the county grand jury. While many of the people they represent struggle to make ends meet, many of California's legislators are driving around in leased vehicles paid for by taxpayers. The kind of car lawmakers can drive, though, has now been restricted. 
restricted somewhat thanks to a decision by the California Compensation Commission. The commission voted to cut lawmaker benefits by 18 percent. Specifically, we reduced per diem. We reduced the state's contribution to paid insurance benefits, meaning health insurance, life insurance, long-term care, dental, etc., And then we also reduced by 18% the state's contribution to the car program. So instead of leather seats and uh, automatic windows, we may have roll-down windows and perhaps, uh, I don't know, cloth seats. Where do you even get roll-down windows anymore? I don't know, but uh, that's what my truck is. Because if I ever drive in a window, or if I ever drive into a window, if I ever drive into a river and, you know, I have to get out, then I know I can. Is that a common occurrence? Maybe uh, the way I drive, yes. You yeah. never know. Wow. Yeah. So you have windows just for that I, uh, yeah, occasion. Yeah, I specifically ordered them. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, well, that's okay. Just me. Well, yeah. it's... but again, I'm in the kook minority on a lot of things <laughs> apparently today. Yeah. It's starting to add up. Yeah. Let me finish the story real quick. <laughs> yeah, uh, the ahead. savings are expected to total about half a million dollars per year. No, <laughs> no, no, uh, no. Really worried about how much money I might save, you know, by having the roll down windows. Do you have special lights in case you drive into a cave? Or... <laughs> No, not yet. Okay. Beginning this week, Rockland Municipal Offices, including City Hall and the Community Services Center, will be closed every Friday for a year to reduce city expenses. Police and fire departments, however, will remain open, as will regularly scheduled recreation programs. The Elk Grove Police Department has recently documented two cases where counterfeit $50 bills were used to purchase fireworks at local fireworks stands. Police are advising the stand operators, who are usually nonprofit organizations, to be suspicious of older bills bearing pre-1996 designs and to take time to check for duplicate serial numbers. Really, who buy, who pays for anything using a $50 bill, any uh, dollar Not, bill? Well, like the ATM doesn't spit them out, so I don't get them too much. Yeah, but so apparently the dryer is at somebody's house. Yeah, the <laughs> <laughs> dryer is. And for day three, four, fifteen thirty, star pound fifteen thirty for a free call on your cell phone. We'll get your calls uh, momentarily, but first, traffic. And Dana Hess, who's in the Jackson Rancheria Casino and Hotel Traffic Center. Dana is brought to us by Dog Secrets. And Bob, you know, I was glad to hear that you have the roll down windows in case you drive into a window, you know, into a river. Yeah. Uh, because I have twenty skateboards nailed upside down to the top of my car in case I do a rollover. Oh, see, so, okay. Brilliant minds think alike. You got to think Got's ahead, happen. my yeah. friend. You got to think ahead. Apparently, I'm. All just ill things. equipped for all That's those right. uh, scenarios. Fellow hey, member of the kook minority. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and proud of it. Thank you very much. Uh, we got Bob up there on Kybers, uh, 50 in Kybers, where we had a problem earlier today, and he tells us 